What's going on guys? Lou here from Inglorious Paintball and LJC Paintball coming back onto my channel to do another unboxing video for you guys. Um, I just recently did an unboxing of the new HK Ripper. Um, apologize I haven't been able to get any shooting footage of that. I haven't been able to get out yet. Um, I have a lot of other stuff going on. But anyway, I just got this in the mail today, the Planet Eclipse EMAC MG100, the introduction to MagFed from Planet Eclipse. Um, so I wanted to do an unboxing, uh, kind of talk about the gun a little bit. Um, this is my first time seeing it, um, at least in person. Um, so I'm excited pretty much as much as uh, you guys who are tuning in. Uh, but let's get into it. So first, you see this box. Um, cardboard, you know, I, I don't think uh, Planet Eclipse is going to come, at least not right now, going to come out with a case for this. Um, it is shipped fully assembled, so let's take a look. So you open her up. Uh, say hello to your new EMEC. I think that's kind of cool. Just telling you to register for the warranty um, right there. Then underneath it, you have the EMEC itself. Um, it actually looks really cool. <laughs> um, so let's get into this. So here is just a big box of parts. And then, like I said, you get your EMAC, which is fully assembled. I'm going to put this box off to the side. And let's take a look at this accessory box. Um, let's take a peek at it. There we go. All right, so first and foremost, you get a manual uh, Planet Eclipse um, MG100. So this is a dedicated manual to the MG, which is really nice. Uh, Planet Eclipse manuals generally tend to be the best in the game. Um, you know, full color picture, a lot of blowout diagrams, troubleshooting, um, you know, that stuff like that just can't be beat, especially on newer markers. I mean, everything is pretty much bulletproof and self-explanatory anymore. But it's really important to still have uh, these types of manuals just in case you need to diagnose any issues that you're not able to. Um, then you get one magazine here. So this is a 10 round magazine. Um, it is the Die Dam mags. Um, I'm really happy that Eclipse actually used these because um, they're really durable. They're pretty reliable magazines. Um, not only that, but the pricing of them, I think, is super competitive compared to other MagFed magazines. I know um, a two-pack, even though they're pretty much out of stock everywhere right now, I know a two-pack of these goes for 25 and then in the 20 rounds, a two-pack is $30 unless you're getting the die cam. It's just another $5 extra on each of those. But $30 for two mags uh, is a really good price. You know, you're paying 60 bucks for four. A lot of other... Magfit markers, um, you're you're paying close to a hundred dollars for four magazines. So uh, I like the fact that they're using the Dam mags. Not only that, but they're also first strike, um, they're first strike ready, and they're uh, 68 cal uh, paintball ready as well, which is really nice. You get your Planet Eclipse parts baggie here, uh, loaded with O-rings, uh, extra screws. Um, looks like. Did another uh, some detents. Looks like another reg seat. A couple sp um, miscellaneous springs. I mean, their parts kits are always you know top notch. Planet Eclipse. You get the feed neck adapter, but be careful when you're opening this because this little stem here is the piston for uh, the PAL system. Um, this goes uh, on the top of the marker when you're going to put the hopper adapter on uh, if you want to run. Uh, a hopper on here. Um, these markers are PAL enabled, so um, it's definitely a cool system to take a look at. What I like about this feed neck is that it is clamping, it has the lever clamp here, and even though it's um, composite, it still feels really durable. Um, so that's always, always a good sign that it's going to be uh, relatively reliable. 
you get two barrel sleeves, so they give you one barrel sock if you want to uh, run with one of the shrouds off and you're using, you know, a barrel that is suitable for uh, just a standard barrel sock. And then if you're running both parts of the shroud on the marker, they give you this larger size barrel sock um, that actually fits over the shroud, uh, both shroud pieces, which is really nice. I mean, it's just the little things like that that um, Planet Eclipse takes into consideration um, and provides you with uh, stuff like that, which is really nice. On top of that, you get a set of Allen keys, like your standard Planet Eclipse Allen keys. Um, really nice. I wish they came with the steel ones instead of the aluminum ones, but really not a huge deal. Uh, you get a thing of Dow 33, Planet Eclipse Grease. So you have two springs here. Yes. You have two springs here and then these new followers that uh, Planet Eclipse made. So these are compatible with the 10 round mags. Um, they are making ones for the 20 rounds as well. This just um, prevents the Emac MG100 from dry firing. So once you get to the end of a mag, if you have these followers in, it fills the breach and you can't actually dry fire a shot. Uh, it's not going to be as loud. It won't give away your position um, if you're playing in the woods or you know big scenario games or something like that. Um, so th that's actually really cool. I like that. Um, and then in this box here, yeah, they're just different pieces for um, stock attachments. If you want to run a stock on the back of your gun, you can do so. So you have an angled one, and then this piece is just for, um, there's another one in there, it's just for right out the back. And then you have these clips here, which lock your shroud pieces together. Um, I know two of them are needed, and then it looks like Planet Clips gives you two boards just in case one of them bends or snaps or something like that. Um, so that's really cool. That's a lot of extra goodies that you get. Um, for those of you who don't know, these markers retail for $449.95, which I think is actually a really great price point. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, going back to the magazine here, so Planet Eclipse and I actually state that these are five, uh, five on one side, five on the other, so 10 round magazine. I know, um, at least in the old die mags, um, probably in these ones too, that you can fit Six, six on each side, at least round ball. Um, and the spring tension isn't super tight. I, I really haven't seen crazy dimples unless you're leaving it in for a long time. But I mean, if you wanted to attempt to put six in each side, you could. Um, that's just from my experience. So, you know, I don't recommend or, you know, I, I really don't recommend much. Um, it's just something that I have done previously. So let's take a look at the MG100 here. It's actually a really nice looking marker. Um, let's get a good feel on it real quick. So in the hands, um, it's heavy to where it feels like it's not cheap and then it's not heavy, meaning it's not gonna be like a ton of weight running. You're not running, you know, you're not running around with a ton of weight. Um, snappy trigger, you know, say just like the, um, the EMEC, I believe it's the same trigger frame it has to be the same trigger frame. Um, the grips are actually super comfortable. They're really nice gel texture. I mean, there is some plastic in here, but that's just to remove them. Um, they look like they're toolless, which they are toolless, which is actually really nice. So you don't need an Allen key to get um, into, I guess, where the regulator is, because this looks like, yeah. So the pops here runs into the grip frame. Um, and this is, you know, where your regulator's housed. So you can actually take these uh, grips off, a uh, little tab in the back pops out, and then you can take these off kind of like a CS2, which is actually really nice. Um, you have your two front shroud pieces, which all feel like composite, but that's okay. I mean, they, they feel like they're pretty durable. Um, looks like you have a detent cover here, which is really nice. It's very easy to access that. I love the fact that it came with the POPS ASA. Um, that was an upgrade that you had to get on the EMEC. Um, I feel like for $450, I definitely think they should come with one, but it's really nice that they did because it's always a great upgrade to have. Um, 
up top here where you mount your loader. So this plate uh, looks like there's a screw here that you take out and then this plate here comes off and then you mount the hopper adapter if you want to run a hopper. Uh, push button safety, you know, not necessary in my opinion, but I've been playing paintball for a very long time. If you have new guys that are coming out, a push button safety is never a bad thing to have. Um, that's a cool feature. Um, looks like some spots if you want to run like a sling or something like that, um, which is nice. Gamma core is inside of these, so you know that it's a reliable, um, tried and true platform. Uh, it's been tested in many guns, the Ether 2, the 160R, the 170R, the CS2 has the Gamma Pro. Um, they're all pretty similar, but uh, so you know it's reliable and it's going to work. They're efficient. Um, so that's really nice. So one of the cool things I like about this is not only is it, you know, die mag compatible, um, but it has an ambidextrous, ambidextrous mag release. So let's get this dummy mag out because that's all it is. If so, before I jump into the into that, this dummy mag is needed if you're going to run a hopper. Um, it has pretty much like a a stopper, I guess, for the breech that you know won't allow um, a ball to just roll right out of the mag well. Um, but it does have a lock here, so you just pull this tab down, you push down on the mag release, and then it just comes right out. And this is the stopper that I was talking about. It almost acts like a secondary detent. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I'm going to take this mag out. Put this in. Wow, it actually looks really good. Um, but like I was saying, ambidextrous mag release. So um, for die dam owners or somebody who hasn't owned a dam has ambidextrous mag release as well, but it's actually a push button on each side. I like the fact that this is just a lever right in the front. It seems um, it's really comfortable. If you're firing, slides right out, you switch it, even from the opposite side if you're firing. it's It just seems like a really easy functionality um, to release the mag, and I actually like that a lot more than the uh, die damn mag release um, push button. Um, I'd rather have the lever on the back like this MG100. Um, yeah, let, let me take a look. We'll take a look at the barrel real quick because this looks like a 14 inch barrel. Um, just give me one second. You know what, I might, I can't seem to get a good grip on it. I might have to take this front shroud piece off to get to the barrel. But it's a 14 inch barrel. It looks like, doesn't look like it has a, a ton of porting on it. You know, basic porting. Um, Looks like what you would find with an Ether 2, the two-piece 14 and 689 barrel. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not real accustomed to these guns. Um, MagFed is not my primary. I, I'm usually playing um, with a mechanical gun or a, a speed, you know, a speedball marker. Um, so I'm not really used to shooting first strike rounds. Um, that's what I'm primarily going to be using this for. So you could always get a barrel that's dedicated to first strike, such as a, a Nemesis or a Hammerhead barrel or something like that. Um, but right now, I think I'm just going to run the stock barrel uh, f just for now to see, you know, how I like the style of play. Um, th that's really it, guys. I mean, there's the MG100. I mean, it looks really great. Um, it's definitely a solid platform. I can't wait to get out and shoot it. You know, the Gamma Core is super reliable, Die Mag super durable, relatively inexpensive. If you're ambidextrous mag release, your Pops ASA, dual barrel shroud with some Picatinny rail on the top and bottom so you can put a sight or a scope or whatever you want to put on there. Um, has the ability to run a stock out the back. Uh, this thing for $450 is loaded with features. So one thing that I would like to mention is that a lot of people are comparing these to the die dams, which isn't really a fair comparison because not only is the dam a $1,500 marker, it's also an electronic marker. Um, so, you know, you have the opportunity to shoot full auto, semi-auto, three-round burst. It has the on-the-fly system if you want to switch from 
uh, a hopper to a magazine if you run out of paint in your hopper or, or something like that. Um, it, it's really tough to compare because I feel like even though they're both mag-fed markers, they both serve different purposes and functionalities, if, if that makes sense. Um, with that said, do I think that a lot of people may start converting to these because of the price difference? Absolutely, and the fact that they're using uh, Didam mags. But we'll see. I mean, that's just my opinion. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. I really can't wait to get this to the field. I'm actually really excited. Um, but here's my look, and hopefully one of your first looks at the Planet Eclipse MG100 paintball marker. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. Hey guys, Lou here from Inglorious Paintball, coming to do a brief shooting video of the new Planet Eclipse MG100 paintball gun. It's a mag-fed release from Planet Eclipse. Stock configuration, stock barrel, 450 PSI output pressure for my HK Aerolite regulator. Want to get this shooting video in before it starts raining again. We have... I'm going to grab the damn mag with the Planet Eclipse followers in it. Just here, 10 rounds, round ball, Vulcan graffiti. Chronoing right around 280 feet per second. Now that I'm out, you can hear the follower since it's sitting up in the breach of the magwell. It won't let me dry fire, so you're not giving away your position, which I really like. Um, that Planet Clips came out with. I just bought a pack of these, um, so that's really cool. I have one more magazine. It does not have the followers or the new springs in it, but we'll go through this as well. I'll just count them out. That's it guys, Planet Eclipse, MG100, uh, Magfit Paintball Gun, thanks.